putting an end to a tail. The Dunedin City Council is taking steps to improve water safety by prohibiting the use of mermaid tails in local pools. These suits go on like a pair of trousers and sort of almost tie the legs together. Um, this causes children, adults not to be able to use each leg individually and it's, it's just too much of a, a risk associated um, with the devices. The swimming accessory became popular over the Christmas period and the Auckland City Council was quick to ban them. Now the local authority is following suit by outlawing their use in council-owned and operated facilities. DCC staff haven't personally experienced any incidents with the tails but say they can be a serious hazard. What they do is they propel you um, slightly faster than just a normal kick and once you get down deeper in the water and you're underwater a lot longer, if you don't have the capacity or the competence to get back to the surface, um, that there has been blackout situations around the world, um, none that I'm aware of in New Zealand though. Mermaid tails aren't that common in Dunedin, but the council wants to prohibit them before they become a craze. The outlawing has attracted a few negative comments on social media, but council staff say most of the feedback has been good. I would say probably 90% of it's been very positive, that, that people can see the risk of, of people's legs being encompassed into one device. Um, and water safety is a key um, issue in New Zealand, so you know there's plenty of other um, devices and activities and, and fun ways you can enjoy your pools and the rivers and the sea. The tails can still be used at pools and swimming spots not associated with the council, but staff are advising against that. Annabelle Dick. 39, Dunedin News.